So this is my very first YouTube video. I know I'm I'm just cutting edge. I'm totally bleeding edge technology here. All right. So today I wanted to show you guys a little trick that I worked up while trying to research base weighting. Um, base weighting is one of those things that like there's a bunch of solutions out there and people are pretty happy with them. But none of them ever really quite work entirely right unless you like fork out the bucks for those like lead uh, weights or in America we like for regular uh, empty bottom holes that don't have the slotta we can just put a nickel in and th that works fantastic but for these slotta bases you're kind of looking at a lot of random options. Big one is people use spackle uh, this stuff and it's pretty good um, it does okay it, you know, gives it a little bit of heft, but I've never really been happy with it. Like, I've never felt like it was enough to really do the job. So, uh, I, I saw a couple posts on Daka Daka. People were talking about putting, like, lead weights from fish, uh, from fishing gear in there and that kind of thing. And, you know, I tried that and, you know, I was actually pretty frustrated with it. And then, then I tried, um, uh, some gluing in some, uh, steel shot that's used for um, making shotgun shot and then even some uh, stuff used for sandblasting which was a little bit finer and that worked pretty good but it was also really frustrating because the little balls kept like breaking off and falling out and all that and I was like well that's just not very clean if only there was a way to take this stuff and make it as heavy as metal heavy metal <laughs> um, yeah I'm a nerd it's the way I am, sorry. So I, you know, poked at uh, Amazon for all of five minutes, and lo and behold, magnetic iron filings are dirt cheap. And you can buy them by the pound for uh, roughly ten bucks or so. And I gave them a shot, and they do a fantastic job. Let me go grab one of my guys and show you. So here you can see... There's the steel, sh uh, that's the sandblasting stuff that I used before. It worked pretty good, but, and the the glue kept them in okay, but they kept coming out, you know, and it was just, it wasn't exactly a flush, you know, bottom, which wasn't a big deal, but it wasn't, like, fantastic either. And so this is the stuff that I'm about to make for you. And once it's done, you can see it's, you know, Nice and solid and flush and really clean. It's not quite as heavy as pure metal, but it does the job. It totally, like, you know, I can knock these guys around pretty good. And, like, you know, they don't fall down. Well, they do, but, you know, they don't go flying off the table by a mere little, there you go, wheels wobbles, but they don't fall down. It's pretty good stuff. All right, and it's as simple as pie to make. So, you just take a certain amount of your iron filings. Uh, you want to be careful. There are a couple of versions of this that are really powdered. You probably don't want that. Also, um, there's some of this stuff that's uh, already basically like shaved rust uh, that comes in red. It's not magnetic. Uh, so, if uh, having a magnetic base is important to you, you probably don't want that stuff. Luckily, you can get the regular old iron filings um, by the pound. Uh, they're made for schools to use with magnets to play around with. Uh, and so they're already like pretty darn safe to use. So I just dump in an X amount. Uh, maybe not quite that much. This stuff goes really far. Alrighty. So I have probably about, you know, a few tablespoons in there. I'll clean off my nice mess I just made for myself. Thankfully I work outside in a shed, so nobody will get very upset at me. I'm making great big messes. And then I mix in an equal amount of spackle. I haven't really played much with the ratios. Um, I'm sure that entrepreneuring folks out there will Try all sorts of things to get the most magnetized uh, a metal amount out of this. You could probably also use PVA glue, but I really like the spackle because I can just scrape it in later. Now this stuff doesn't want to mix right away. 
the metal isn't like a, a porous powder it is metal so you gotta really stir it for a while to get it to break in as you can see it's kind of not really mixing in right away so I gotta keep kind of jamming it in no biggie it goes fast enough it's not really that bad You do want to keep scraping down in the corners because this stuff will like hide down in there as powder and kind of tip it on its side and s scrape it that way. It takes about five minutes maybe to get it really well done. I might fast forward this later. I might not. You won't know until I'm done. But the stuff does mix in quite well as you go. It's a nice even distribution. I haven't tested the magnetic properties of it yet. I might before I post this video. Who knows? This being my first video, I don't exactly know what all I'm going to do to it. I may flip it upside down. I may reverse it. I may put little sparkles all over the corners to drive you guys insane. Because I know you war gamers out there really like your sparkles and glitter. You're quite quite fond of them. Alright, so let's do this thing. Let me get my palette knife, handy dandy palette knife. And you can see we have ourselves some boys hanging out here with the good old fashioned slot of bases. These are the bases from back when uh, Games Workshop was especially um, sadistic, where they made what looked like regular bases that had slot of bottoms. Thanks a lot, GW. All right. Plop. Put a blob on there. Now you don't, you can scrape it like this and you'll get okay, but you'll see you get like a gap. So what I do is I just kind of jam it on there like this and rub it around and that gets a really nice flush base and then I just scrape off the excess from the sides like so and this stuff is you know pretty dry like it's not the the spackle that I'm using I don't know if it's the same as all spackle but this spackles pretty darn dry and I'll just scrape it a couple more times to get a nice flush base you're done. Move on. Do another one. Might have enough on here to do that guy, next guy. I might not. So I probably made maybe a quarter cup of this stuff. And I will be probably digging around looking for minis to, <laughs> to fill with it. That is the biggest benefit of this is it is fast. It is easy. It is cheap. It just works, and it goes a long, long way. Now, one of the other cool things is because it's basically spackle, you can do whatever shapes you want. I have done kill can bases, and probably going to do pretty much everything I own at this point because I have not found a better solution to base weighting than this in all of my journeys and travels across the grand landscape of nerddom. This stuff just does what I want it to do. Boom! Like that. Right? And it's quite hefty. Like, it feels weighted. Which is one of the things that I really wanted. Like, the, the, like Spackle worked great, but it just never felt weighted. It didn't have that kind of heft that I missed from the old um, like metal figure days, you know, because I am that old! Get off my lawn, you kids! And and the other cool thing is because it's spackle, it's not glue, I can just put it down on my work table here and I don't have to worry about what it's going to do. It's not going to stick to my table. It's just going to dry. Now, it probably won't dry as fast if I put it down that way. Probably dry like a little faster if I... Uh, put it upside down or something, but, you know, I don't really care. Um, so, here we have Mr. Tippy. We've named this Tyranid Tippy the Tyranid because, well, you know, he barely ever wants to stay face up. He's notorious for taking leaps off of things. And in Kill Team, where that actually has rules, 
that's kind of a big deal. And this guy, his brother, um, Sir Tippinoid the Orc, you know, the Storm Boy, is kind of in the same boat. So let's see how those guys fare. Meow, meow. Oh, I hope I'm not nerding you guys out too hard with all my silliness. There we go. Yeah, yeah, not great, but better. You know, this guy might be a candidate for the lead weights if you really, really care that much. But, you know, if you're used to playing with guys that don't have any weighting, like, this weighting is going to be better than just spackle or, or anything else. Like, it really does the job. It's not the best that's out there, but it also doesn't cost an arm and a leg and have to be imported from wherever they make those lead weights. I think the le the only person, the only folks still making Slada weights out of lead is Impact Miniatures. Great folks, they do fantastic work. Now look at Tippy here. Look at that. Like, I can't even, he doesn't, he, like, I really have to push him. Um, but yeah, I do use the Impact uh, lead Slada weights for some things and you know, frankly, these Storm Boys might be a good candidate, but this costs nothing. It's basically free, especially since I can pretend it's for, like, home repair and s silly things like that. So, boom, done. And there we go. And I will probably keep on trucking and do this for a little bit and get all of my work's done right now because well I can. Um, so I've got a couple other examples of older stuff here. Uh, this is just pure spackle. Uh, I used this uh, pink stuff that goes on pink and dries white. I think that stuff might be lighter than regular spackle because this doesn't feel like it's got anything on there. It's like nothing. Oh no! Uh, just tossing my Necromunda figures around for the fun of it. Because they're so, uh, yeah, tough and durable. And this is when I tried using the same basic idea, Spackle, with the little, uh, like, shot that I got. Uh, it, you know, feels kind of heavy, but man, these little balls, like, pop out of the Spackle like nothing. You hear that? Like, they're just falling out <laughs> and they get everywhere <laughs> and having little steel metal bearings all over your house can make people kind of upset um, especially if you have pets that like to lick the ground randomly there you go see uh, you could probably seal that with glue I'll probably do that on these um, they will help you know stop them from falling but this is also frustrating to put in it worked I was happy with it when I did it, but once I like clued in and said, oh yeah, hey, there's got to be some iron dust out there that I can use that would be better. Um, yeah, I'm never going back. Um, another thing I like about this technique is since it's, you know, spackle, it's gap filling. And so if you've got a base that has a big old gap like that guy, right? No more gap, even on this side. See, it filled it right up. Now I gotta go get more guys. I ran out of dudes again. again. If only I had more orcs.
even is this base? This is like, oh my god, where did I find that? That's like a 15 millimeter base. That's how old I am. I have 15 millimeter bases. I, I'm going to field this even though I doubt it's legal. Just because I want to see people's reaction. Alright, so as you can see, we've made a fair amount of dudes this evening. Um, all of these guys have nice heavy base weights. Thanks to uh, cheap science. Yep. Yeah, probably about two bucks to do all those guys. Not too bad. Alright, so I've found myself a magnet from inside the house. Uh, stole it off my fridge, obviously. Um, this should be relatively equal to what you might find in, one, in a magnet case that either you make yourself or buy online. All right, so here we have the base with the iron filings. Lo and behold, holds pretty well. Like even holds the magnet up okay. Um, here we have a base with the steel shot. It holds noticeably better. Like it's actually strong enough to, to be felt across. So let's try some live samples. Here's a boy with the iron filings. Holds pretty well. Okay, I think that's actually usable. Here is a Necromunda fig with the steel shot. Definitely holds well. Like I, I would have no. Well, I mean, if you really banged it around, you might have issues. But you know, keep in mind this isn't entirely flush, and you know, you might be able to. Find stronger magnets inside your case. So here's a Storm Boy, a little bit bigger plastic fig. Kind of wobbly, top heavy. Holds okay, but I can definitely shake it off if I really try. So, yeah, yeah. Not the best magnetic qualities, but it does have it. They are there. Um, here I have an old uh, metal Cadian Sniper fig. Um, we'll test that out, and yeah, not going to do it for metal, not at all. Like, here's another metal sniper fig. Under the best of circumstances, it kind of holds, but yeah. So there you have it. Um, it is magnetic, almost enough, but uh, not quite all the way. So, if you line your case with a really strong magnet, you'll be good to go. Otherwise, you're down to foam with the rest of us. But Alright, uh, so my bases have dried a little bit. And now we're going to test out uh, the weight on them. So first, we're going to try out the, uh, the slot out with lead weights. Alright. That guy comes in right around 5 grams. Alright. And then we're going to try the Slada with just spackle. And we're not seeing any measurements on that. Um, maybe a couple grams? Try another one. Another one here. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> uh, let me try. Uh, okay, so two grams on that one. Let's try to put two together. The two of them together, four grams, so I guess they're two grams each. Um, and then here's the one with the spackle mixed with the steel shot. And it's four grams by itself. And then here's the spackle mixed with the iron filings. Four grams. Uh, so pretty close to the lead weights. And then here is, for reference, the infamous... American nickel. Five grams. All right. Um, the slot of base by itself uh, with nothing weighs almost zero. All right, I believe I can find one for you. So you throw a regular base on there. Nothing. All right. So uh, I think it's pretty definitive that this is pretty good stuff. Uh, definitely better than just speckle by itself. Almost twice as much. I got two of them here. Let's see how much two of them weigh together. Six grams, so kind of maybe evens out to 
about halfway between the steel shot and a nickel and regular spackle. So uh, given how easy it is to throw together, I'm, I'm sticking with this stuff myself. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, thanks for tuning in.